uh, Mike Stokes, Lush Planet Design Build. Today I want to make a video showing you how we do a ledger board for a deck. Um, so the first thing is getting your layout lines on where the deck is going to go. So go ahead and pan down onto the door. So our deck is basically going to be aligned with the door base here and the pre-existing deck over there. So if you see this line right here, that we... You're making shadow. Well, so this line right here, this is the top of our new ledger board that we're putting on. We ran a laser level, you can just sort of pan the whole distance. We ran a laser level from that end of the deck all the way over to the other end of the deck, the other end of the house where the deck is gonna end over there, okay? Um, then the next really most important thing when you're laying out a ledger board is to make sure that you put it in the right spot given what's behind the ledger board. So in this case, if you'll see, I don't know if you can see with the camera here, there's, there's a line that we put here, and then the, the split line, and then the line goes down there. That's because the beam behind there uh, has a 2x4 on top of it, so we have a thick beam here, and then a narrower beam up here that's underneath and behind the door, so behind the wall. So we had to figure out what was behind it before we could decide where to put our... Uh, holes for the bolts that are going to hold on the ledger board. And then we also had to figure out where all the studs were and the joisting so that we wouldn't run into one of those. Okay? So if you pan back now and look at the ledger board here, you're going to see all these pucks. Um, and I, I like the puck method. I think it works really well. So the purpose of this puck is to stand off the ledger board from the edge of the house because wood to wood contact always creates a rot point. So we stand it off a half an inch and then we're gonna drive five eighths bolts through here, through the house, and then bolt it on real tight. The other thing I wanna bring your attention to is how I stagger the pucks. So I stagger the puck one, two, three different heights on the ledger board. The purpose of that is, is so that along the grain of the wood, any downward pressure on the wood isn't going to split all in the same part. So you have pressure on this grain, and then pressure on this grain, and then pressure on this grain, so it's less likely to split the board. And then if you pan over that way, you can see the other half of the ledger board that we've already done. And then let's go around and take a look at the bolts that we use. So the last thing I wanted to point out is that sometimes you'll see people use uh, lag bolts in a ledger board and that's I think totally a bad idea because a lag bolt over time the wood around the lag bolt always rots and then it just loosens up and will free away. It's probably not code. Um, so we always put a bolt on the back. So we always look to find where we can stick a bolt on the back. Um, and that's really the only thing I wanted to show you is that it's bolted on really tight on the back. Uh, that's it. Hope that's helpful. Have a great day.